Hi Capricorn, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your mid-August money and career tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me. Do keep in mind this is general, so of course just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And we're going to keep it simple by pulling from the uh, tar this tarot deck, excuse me, that I just added to my collection. I do appreciate your likes, comments, and of course subscriptions to the channel if you haven't done so already. Check out your other placements if you feel so guided to. For Capricorn, mid-August, money and career. I sense that you're a little bit judgmental, okay? Um, but I also do feel as if your eye is on the prize. Ten of Pentacles, I feel like you're thinking about where you are most appreciated, where there's the chance to make the most money. It could be an ideal uh, living situation for you. Um, there's thoughts of wanting more space or more comfort, more ideal energy. Uh, you're needing to recognize that or remember that everything's going to happen when it's meant to. Dogs might come into play, okay? They're saying not cats, but dogs. Um, you're just feeling very focused on uh, structure, okay? As I'm drawn to the building kind of uh, what feels like a bridge structure behind in that imagery. You're being guided to understand that structure isn't everything that leads to success or the outcome you desire at this time or outcomes. You're feeling very much needed at certain points, uh, frustrated at others, but then just there are moments where you don't feel as needed as you want and then crave something else to replace it or to make up for it, okay? Um, you're going to feel as if this is your energy. King of Cups, okay? Emotional, confident, strong, in touch with your masculine side. Remember, we all have that masculine and feminine side. Did you see the way I just literally could not allow for that to not be straight? Um, that's your energy, okay? Neat, organized for the most part, but just feeling as if you almost have to clean up after others in your living situation at work. Um, Well-spoken, outspoken, but maybe at times a little bit too much. Try to reel it in when you feel it's not right. The Three of Swords talking about how emotions, uh, disappointment coming to be in one's mind, whether it's with where you're currently at, what you experienced, uh, there's healing to be done, potentially through your work or just in your living situation. Allow for yourself to get your voice out there when you feel guided to, but don't, again, don't overdo it, okay? There's a lot of love flowing towards you, but they don't want me to take this one. I feel like there is a choice to make moving forward and you are being prepared to make that choice. Okay. Um, at times it may feel like there's a lot on your plate, even if you removed a situation recently, or even if you just don't think there is at times, it just feels like you're easily accomplishing a lot, but then people look in and they're like, oh, wow, that's, that's a ton. Uh, it feels like you do have certain stresses you're coping with and dealing with. Um, but I also feel as if you expect them to an extent, okay, due to the past or just all you've been dealing with, same thing. Um, we have the world, while wow, this card loves to come out in these mid-month readings for this round, but I do sense that your world is developing and changing and you want even more change, which is why we're prepping you for this decision moving forward uh, in regards to your Ten of Pentacles situation, lifestyle, or at least a stepping stone towards that. Um, don't allow the changes that are developing in your world and even in other worlds surrounding you or tied to you in one way, shape or form to affect your emotions in a heavy way, okay? You're going to find that you are just remembering more um, than you would like to. Spirit is at work, okay? There's something to gain, to, you might be messed with. Um, your, okay, your child is safe is what I just heard. Obviously not for everybody, but I do feel like you're learning um, about what is meant to be cut out or how that's meant to happen, okay? Uh, feisty defensive behavior will come to be and then it will simmer down and regrets will set in, play, in place and it's just a moment to remember to learn to grow, okay? That could be again in either of the two main situations I mentioned, living, work, you name it. Um, but I do feel like you have a lot of options, okay? A lot of options. Those options could make you feel a little bit overwhelmed. It's almost wanting less options at times to make it simpler to make the decision. But then if you didn't have the amount of options you have, you probably wouldn't get what you're meant to or desire the most. Um, uh, I'm hearing three to six months. 
three to six months, you will see a change come to be where it's not meant to happen just yet, okay? Everything's happening when it's meant to. And I really just feel like in your reading, I wanna pull more cards. Sometimes less is more, but in your case, I feel like you desire more on your plate or just more, uh, more to do, maybe for distraction, to make more money, to uh, hear people out is gonna benefit you, okay? Uh, doesn't mean you need to respond or share your opinion or even take what they have to say advice wise or judgment wise but at least listen uh, excuse me at least listen to them it's gonna benefit you okay very expressive with your hands um, feeling quite serious at certain points thinking about what needs to be left behind um, thinking about what you did leave behind was it the right choice the answer is yes the answer is yes you and a couple other people, three other people maybe are celebrating um, or just maybe looking back at certain past celebrations. I feel like there's certain levels of comfort, satisfaction that you're embracing, which helps you remember what isn't feeling that way. So again, uh, about change, right? Anyways, I do sense that you're independent, you're vibing to your own, uh, the beat of your own drum. Uh, it's almost you wanting other people to get on that uh, bandwagon and just do things the way you do or just uh, do what you say but there are moments where you expressing that too heavily or too forcefully won't actually get you the results you want so there's a need to just uh, rewind or just um, uh, reel it in okay and allow for yourself to uh, take a hot second and think about who you're trying to communicate with how they digest um, demands or information okay I do feel like you want to put your foot down okay they keep wanting me to take the nine of swords um, but I'm not taking it okay there's a bit of a stubborn vibe I do feel like you are remembering what's not meant for you or being pushed to recognize what's not meant for you okay uh, where you don't fit in is oh, it's okay okay it doesn't speak it speaks highly to how you've changed and grown over time, but it doesn't speak to um, you not having the ability to fit in. It just, again, pushes you to go where you're meant to go when the time is right. Um, 720 is the number I got uh, like a, almost 30 seconds ago. Um, 720, look up the angel number meaning as there is a message for you. But I do feel like you're being noticed, okay, for what you want to cut out, for your feistiness, for your... Um, way of being your uh, determination your demands okay but also all that you're accomplishing all of your thoughts that you clearly are mulling around in your head but aren't expressing all of which um, there's a snake in your midst I feel the need to say okay whether it's at work or at home or both uh, you could feel as if there's just somebody you shouldn't trust you need to trust that feeling okay trust that feeling as they do sense that things are going to work out in your favor but it doesn't feel like it 24 7 okay it doesn't feel like it 24 7 there's a new beginning on the horizon for you capricorn and it's going to feel like things are overflowing um abundant wise right but at times you just need to accept that what misses you or you miss is a uh, saving kind of moment right um a level of um gratitude needs to come into play that you want me to say that um it's a blessing in disguise to an extent but for some it's not even in disguise it's just a blessing um and you may be thinking back to past opportunities you missed out on um but i do sense that it's a month where your uh things are weighing a bit heavy okay things are weighing a bit heavy but i do sense that there's a need to start fresh emotionally and remember that things are falling into place for you things are falling into place um, ships will come in for you moving forward but it's a month of preparation it's a month of realization learning growing and just keeping your cool okay and doing what you have to do when you got to do it and realizing damn i'm good okay um and i feel as if uh, with the advice given in this reading you'll be able to convey what you need to get done what you need to and show people how it's done all right they want me to take this card for you taking charge i do sense that that's just part of your reading let's pull a couple more you and taurus are getting these just had to close the window and i got the message of nervousness no reason to doubt oneself in the midst of taking charge 
but you're going to be receiving more than expected and having a level of uh success that just feels good and i feel like there is certain moments where you expect more from oneself than you can actually accomplish okay but all the meanwhile you're making a lasting impression okay so if this reading was truly helpful sending you so much love and light go enjoy the rest of your month and i'll see you next time bye capricorn